So before we think about our word year three, can you recall what happened in the book last week? So in chapter one and chapter two of The Fastest Boy in the World, what happened? Have a little pause here while you think about it. What did you think about? Did you think about the fact that we learned about the main character Solomon and that he lived in Ethiopia in a roundhouse that had no electricity? That he loved running, that he lived with his parents who owned animals, had a little sister and his grandfather lived there too. That his grandfather wanted to take him to the capital of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, that he'd never been there before. They walked there for over 20 miles, that his feet and legs were aching, so his grandfather was in a lot of pain. And did you think about the fact that his grandfather had to rest in that cafe where the lady asked the man who was helping her to take them to a bus? And that Solomon said it would be his first time ever on a bus. I wonder what happened when they got to the bus stop find out some more tomorrow. Let's have a think now about our word. So in our story tomorrow we come across the word on page 30 dreadful. So we're going to think about that word. We're going to start with its root word which is dread. So our word this week is dread. So I want you to think about all the things we have on our vocabulary laboratory. Can you think about the word class for dread? So is it a noun? Is it an adjective? Is it a verb or an adverb? How do you know? Some words can be more than one word class. So thinking about dread, could it be more than one word class? Try using it within sentences to see if you can define the kind of word it is. Then where it says define it, that's actually to give it a definition. What does dread mean? So think about what does dread mean? And if you're not sure, you could look that up in a dictionary. You could also use a thesaurus to help you with the swap it part, if that's something that would be helpful for you. Or you might have some ideas of your own for how you could swap it and find some synonyms or dread. So those are words with very similar meaning to dread. Where it asks you to break it down, you're thinking about how many syllables are there in dread. And write down the number of syllables and underline to show. Reverse it with thinking about those antonyms, with thinking about opposite words. So what words have the opposite meaning to dread? Can you use it in a sentence? So you're thinking about putting dread into a sentence where dread is used correctly and makes sense. Where it asks you to modify dread, you need to be thinking about, are there any prefixes that could be added to dread to change it? And are there any suffixes that could be added to dread to change it? If you can think of any of those prefixes or suffixes, then you modify the word dread. So if there's anything I can add to the start of dread or the end of dread to still have dread within one word, then that's how I modify it. Okay, so at this point now, if you find the vocabulary laboratory task on the website and complete the task, that would be wonderful. I'm also going to record some possible answers next. Please make sure that you stop the video here and do your task before you look through my answer video. Right, you've come back for the answers. Let's have a look. Remember, my answers won't be exactly the same as yours because there can be multiple answers. Some of them will be. So word class. Dread could actually be a verb, a noun, or an adjective. It can be an action word, verb, a verb word, because I can be doing dread. So I can be worrying about something, fearing something, 
so I am dreading so I dread the doctors yeah it's my verb I can also have dread as a noun I can be filled with dread yeah I have dread then it becomes a noun and it can also be used as an adjective, like he had a dread disease. So something that we fear. So it can be a verb, noun or adjective. So if you've got any of those three, well done. And if you've got all of those three, very, very well done. So what does it mean then? Well, if I dread something, it's to feel very worried or frightened about something that is going to happen or that might happen. So it's feeling really worried, really frightened. So I could swap dread with many words. Words I thought of were fear, shudder, be afraid. So if you've got words similar to mine, you've thought of the meaning for dread and you've managed to swap it. To break it down, there is only one syllable, dread. Just the one. Then to reverse it, well, what's the opposite to fear? What's the opposite to dread? It's to welcome, to wish, to hope, be hopeful, to enjoy, to like. So those positive adjectives would be my opposite to dread. I've used it in this sentence. Mrs. Trunchbull filled the children with dread. If you've used dread properly in your sentence too, well done you. So to modify dread, I found it very difficult to find any prefixes for dread, but there are many suffixes for dread. So we have S, dreads. ED, dreaded. Full, dreadful. Fully, dreadfully. Ing, dreading. Right, those are my answers. I hope that you have enjoyed today's vocabulary laboratory task and that you are looking forward to chapter three tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. Bye for now.